Please welcome Carol Dore. Carol. This is a very appealing topic. How did you, uh, you develop this idea, how? I did. I, I saw the need, and there's definitely a need. I was uh, one of the victimized women, that are so many in this country, where uh, I really had a beautiful relationship for 10 years, and the last four was a nightmare. He started to do drugs, cocaine, uh, stayed out every night till 4 o'clock in the morning for four years. There was another woman, eventually, I was to, to discover. And um, I couldn't leave him because I was very ill at the time, and I was mostly in bed, and I really... Uh, Still ill, ill with what? Ill with what? What was wrong? Like just chronically ill? You I was chronically ill. Yeah. I was in and out of hospitals, and mm -hmm. they honestly at that point didn't really know what was wrong with me. Mm -hmm. I was just in and out. And okay. uh, I just, was, it was so tormenting because we were inseparable for 10 years, and he was just gone real quickly. And I was so sick and um, that I just turned to positive thinking books, listened to tapes night and day. I tried to drown my thoughts out because I couldn't think of anything else to do. Yeah. And I did that for the first year to save my sanity. Uh, the second year I was, I was getting, I was catching on to something. And I was lying there and I was really figuring a lot of things out. By the third year, I really started to uh, understand my powers. What's your twist on visualization? Help, help us understand visualization. Well, most of what I discovered during this time was that um, it's all done mostly through the mind and people trying to, to, to uh, actually program themselves to draw to themselves which, when they realize that visualization is sort of using your imagination to create what you want in your life and that when you have this type of energy within you, you start to draw things to you. So they start to program themselves to draw things to them. And my twist was that I realized that through the mind that came in and it would go out again and so I learned how to do it through my heart so now apply this to money how do you uh, approach money differently well that's uh, what happened well during this time uh, especially afterwards was that I found out that I could draw money to me and that there were lots of people as I was teaching classes for eight years nine years I saw that this was a real major problem was the money area and so I for myself to stay in the beautiful big apartment I, I needed to after I got out of this marriage I needed to create money very quickly and I developed it for myself now you say that you can uh, actually demonstrate positive vibrations uh, and, and their effect on physical objects you're going to show us uh, something here yes I can uh, when you raise the vibrational energy when you in raise your energy level uh, your energy becomes stronger uh, and things change rapidly that's when you get into synchronicity okay so what happens when I hold onto the spoon and my energy level changes, I can bend it. I can't right now, but I can with your help. And one of the highest vibrational energies is laughter. We're very oh, okay. powerful when we <laughs> laugh. So what I'll do is I'll just, I'll, if, if I can, I'll tell you a real quick little story. And if you help me out, if you laugh at the story, I can bend my spoon here, and then you can watch this. So you need carefully. to tell a story. You need us to laugh out loud. I have to tell you the story loud, first, okay? And then the vibration of our laughter is going to help her bend the spoon. You and ready? It's going to help a lot. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. Get ready. So, okay, after, after, I, after I left him, I managed to get into a gorgeous apartment in Newport Beach, and it was beautiful. Uh, I had been in there a while. I had a few years. I re was rearranging the bedroom furniture in my bedroom, and I thought, gee, I've really got to rearrange the patio. Uh, out there too and there's a big tree about this big out there and I thought gee I've really got to center that underneath the planter where it used to be and I don't know how I'm going to do that because I'm I'm not big enough to do it and I got to get a man I don't know who that's going to be and it's going to take more than one I know for sure I don't know who that's going to be it took that long okay to think this through your mind and I'm rearranging the furniture well all of a sudden not even three or four minutes later this man's head pops up over the planter now I'm on the third floor so <laughs> this is not normal and, and looking in my bedroom is definitely not normal. So I and so I'm looking. I, I scream, blood curdling scream. He nearly falls off his ladder. And I said, "What do you think you're doing?" He says, "I'm trying. I'm sorry. I'm trying to, to clean the rain gutters above you. I'm with maintenance, and we, my partner and I, were trying to do it up above. We couldn't get to them. We need to climb from down below. Do you mind if we use your patio to get to the next level?" And I said. No, I said, that's okay, you can do that. And he said, yes, but we need to put our ladder in your patio. He said, can we do that? And I said, that's no problem. He says, yes, but we need to put, put it right where that tree is. Do you mind? Can we move that tree? And I said, oh, no problem. You know, you can move it out right over there. Okay, there we go. There's the spoon. Yeah. And that's what it does. Wow. It's probably so warm. Oh, and it's, uh, 
It's warm, too. It's, there's heat in it. And this is not a trick spoon. That's, now, why does that it's work? It's hot. Because laughter raises the vibrational energy. When we laugh, we're very powerful. You just don't read it. Everybody could do this. It's, this I'm not special at This all. explains why, uh, when I was a comedian, many times the microphone would just bend really? in my yes. uh, hand for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> actually, it never bent, which means maybe I wasn't as funny as I thought I was. <laughs> now, this is a stack of money in front of you. You actually talk about physically or, or connecting with money. Or, yeah. What do you mean? I love this. <laughs> this I love this. Money, okay. money, 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 money. My students will love this, too. All right. Uh, money is wonderful. And we want to, if we would like to have it, we need to really have a great relationship with it. We want to fall in love with money. Most people really have a funny thing about money. They really don't want to think too much about it. They're, they're sometimes taught not to like it very much. And yet this is the biggest problem with people is they really need it, but they have an adversity to it. So what we want to do is we want to start to make a relationship with it. Start, start really falling in love with it. Feel it. Admire it. Okay, now take the money and just take it up to your nose. And it has a really distinct fragrance and smell it. Yeah. And this really does because there's so much of it. Okay. Now your subconscious gets the senses and it gets it immediately. And so there's no bypassing it. It gets it immediately. It smells it. And with the smell, it will create from a smell because it has to be created in there first before it's out pictured here. So you smell it. And at the same time, what you want to do is you want to say, I am at one with a tremendous amount of money. That's what you want to say. <laughs> and it really will work, and it's that simple. So after, after a while, you're going to learn how to do this, and you want to keep doing this. I'm a one with a tremendous amount of money. You keep doing it consistently. You're going to be amazed at how much money will keep appearing in your life. You'll start to realize you're very magnetic towards money, and money does not become such an issue any longer. So and psychologically, so you, psychologically you, in other words, the irony of this is that if you will make a concerted effort to make contact with the very thing we spend so much time avoiding, eventually it will come and become less of an issue for you.